bring him back and forth. Today on Doc's Eye TV, on this episode, it's going to be a two-day fishing trip doing two totally different styles of fishing. And uh, what we did on the first day is we just did the more conventional style of fishing, deep water in the Wrigley's live shrimp over at Dockside. Um, just fishing real nice brown and white shrimp, lively kicking on a two foot Carolina rig. And uh, we've been catching plenty of fish over there. You know, they got some, if you're looking to just do some bottom fishing, there's all kinds of different species of fish. You, you're gonna catch a real good mixed bag of different stuff from trout reds, flounder, channel mullet, croakers, sheephead, drum, everything under the sun. Look at that hook popped out, beautiful trout. What we noticed the last couple of days over at Dockside Bait and Tackle is the salinity level in the last couple of days jumped from three parts per million to nine. So what that's telling us is the salinity is coming in, the bait fish are coming in. If the bait fish are coming in, the fish are going to come in. Another quality trout. We're working the 90 bridge uh, in the lake. And we're going to go bounce around a couple of different places to go see that with little subtle changes. You know, and, it, and I mean, it's happening in a, in a matter of a couple of days. So when you get subtle changes like that in a matter of a couple of days, the so fish tend to feed. And with the salinity level rising, these fish are start, starting to feed, start getting on the prowl again. So let's see what the lake has to offer today. You been, like this time of year, so it's hot, middle of July. If you're going to be fishing bottom fishing, live shrimp, Carolina rig, the fish really like to sit in the 15 to 25 foot of water. If the tides are mellow, we like to focus on the Wrigley's. And then if the tides are a little bit harder, you can fish the bridges and, and poncha train or the rigs in Lake Bourne. Nice red on the point right here where we caught all them big trout last year. Haven't caught any big ones there this year yet, but they good place if you're passing it. Take a little peek. Always got something hanging around here. Nice 28 inch red right here. Whenever we are uh, getting into the middle of the summer, Salinities rise up, the fish get into the passes and the wrigglies. You still catch a few on the bridges and poncha train. You catch all kinds of different species of fish, and there's a lot of good edible fish out there. This is a old channel mullet here. Good eating fish, I and mean, it's not really what we're after, but he'll definitely go in the box. And live shrimp come out here, fish all of the bridges around the area, as always, and uh, we like to fish the wrigglies when the tide's changing, and that's what we're in right now, a real soft tide. When it starts peeling again, we come back and fish the more open water, you know. On the second day, what we like to do is a lot, very exciting style of fishing, which we've been doing a lot this summer, and it's been really good, is sight fishing the reds again. We came off the intercoastal. It's kind of cloudy that day, but we had some spots of sunlight where we could see them really good, and the, the fish are really packed in there thick. So. All right, whenever you're sight fishing, the main thing that you need to do is get yourself elevated up on up on some type of platform, you know, whether or not you get an ice chest, you know, or a casting platform like I'm on right now. But the main key is, is getting yourself elevated. You need to be able to see these fish so you can make accurate, you know, well-placed casts on them. Uh, another big thing is sunlight. If you don't have any sunlight, you're not going to be able to see the fish as well. And um, if you, I mean, if you don't have sunlight and you don't have a casting platform, then you might as well just be blind casting. So the main key is seeing the fish. That's what we're doing whenever we're sight fishing. You know, before we're even making a cast, we're actually seeing the whole entire fish. We're not just seeing the wake. So that's the key, though. So just make sure you keep yourself elevated. Lots of different things to do out of Dockside right now. We're catching fish all the way from right behind the marina out to Lake Bourne and everywhere in between. Fish the red fishes in the marsh if you're looking for reds. And if you're looking for the trout and all of that, try the live shrimp and the passes and the wrigglies and whichever way you want to go. Till next time, good fishing. Check out all our other episodes at www.docksidela.com. See you next time.